right, there's a couple of cool features I, I'd like to show you. And in doing so, I need to make sure that you know there's nothing up my sleeve, so I'm going to load up Perfmon. And we're going to create dynamically some Perfmon counters. So let's, uh, just so you can see, there is no counter called uh, ping times. We'll use the ping times. So there's no current counter currently called ping times, no category, and uh, we're going to create one. So uh, I'm going to do a command exec, so I'm going to draw some data off the command line. Just unstructured data, of course, just text. But I'll do a ping dash n one google.com, and that's what it looks like. If I run off the command line, I say OK. But that's just straight text, just unstructured data. Uh, we need to turn that into something structured, so we'll say text to data table, so we can turn that string into some tabular data. And uh, I'll hit this button here, and I'll try to discover and see what data it can find. And it can find some data, which is great. And and we'll just say, okay, that looks good to us. The last thing I want to do is drag over a Windows Management to Perfmon. And to Perfmon requires a uh, category name, so we'll give it the category name ping times, like we just talked about, ping times. Now, I'm going to hit play. First time this runs through, it needs to create those counters. And you can see that shell window came up, but let's load Perfmon up again now and see if we have a ping times in our perfmon. And sure enough, there's a ping times right there. Let's go ahead and add that in. Say OK. Anyway, bytes, time, and time to live. Those are the three things that the auto discovery picked up. And the 88 was the last number. So let's hit play another a couple more times here and get some more samples besides the one we took. All right. Let's highlight that scale it. You can see that every time we hit play we're grabbing a new sample and that's going straight into Perfmon. And we can even hide this window. Let's just set that to true. And sure enough it's still changing. So the cool things I showed you were uh, this text to data table where we're taking unstructured data, the string data, and turn it into tabular data. And the fact that two perfmon just works dynamically creates the, the categories and the counters and everything else, takes all the numerical data that's being shoved into it from the last activity and pushes it into perfmon. Uh, we could then deploy this you know, out to an application or more likely out to an, uh, an agent to automatically run. But uh, it's pretty slick, isn't it? Thanks for watching.